Hi there, it's Mr. Logue. I thought we'd have another quick look at our geometric art. I know some of you are probably doing it the traditional way with a collage of paper or other materials that you have to hand. But for those of you like me that don't have all those materials, I thought I'd go through a few steps where you can do it on a computer using Word or Scratch. Right, let's have a quick reminder of some of the styles of art that we're trying to draw in the style of. And here's what we are doing. Let's swap to Word first and have a look at the next steps for Word. Now, after the last lesson, we drew in the green triangles to represent the grass. And what I thought I would do then, because I had lots of white parts in the background, is just do a general sort of wash effect for the background in different shapes. So let's swap back to the one before I worked on it. Right. So you could go in and move all these individual parts, but what I thought we could do is we could just do a general wash effect at the back by inserting another shape. So if we go up to the insert menu, then shape and choose the rectangle and then draw a nice big rectangle. Now at the moment, you'll see that that color is not the color we want because we want grassy effects. So let's go up to here, shape fill, and we can choose uh, a grass like color so this one's quite nice this one's also quite nice I think I will start off with this one and as before the outline needs to be amended too otherwise you get a sort of a different color outline um, and it probably should be the same yeah let's go for that right now this nice little swirly bit at the top that looks like a buffering symbol that's the rotate and what we can do is we can rotate it to the effect so that it has that landscape style because landscapes in cartoons are straight, but when they are in real life, you'll see they're quite at angles from one another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate this angle first. I'm going to rotate it that way. And then I'm just going to drag that down to about this level here and I can stretch it out so it completely fills that area there and as before from last week we want to send this to the back so if I right click and then go to center back it will send it right behind all of that grass and I'm going to do the same thing now click on that again right click duplicate You remember our hotkeys from last week is control. Rotate that. And then that can make the angle going at the other angle. To make it stand out a bit more, we could also go in and change the color. It's a slightly different shade. Right click, center back. Right, so there you go. There's a sort of effect. And if you keep repeating that time and time again, you'll end up with an effect that looks similar to this. And on that very last one, instead of a rectangle I used a triangle and just stretched it out so I just used that triangle tool and stretch it right sideways right have a go um, I'm really looking forward to seeing these art whether it's done on computer or done with uh, traditional materials so I'm going to have a go at that myself when I get hold of some materials next week okay hopefully you're enjoying putting this art together bye for now